Have you ever wondered what happens when a massive machine like a submarine collides with an object in the water? Well, in this video, we're going to explore the amazing technology that submarines use to avoid collisions, the consequences that can occur when collisions do happen, and the emergency procedures that submarine crews follow when they encounter unexpected obstacles. Submarines are designed to operate underwater, making navigation and detection of objects in the water a significant challenge. The crew of a submarine relies heavy on its navigational systems, including sonar and other sensors, to detect objects in the water and to determine the vessel's location. However, these systems aren't foolproof, and there are many factors that can lead to collisions. In 2017, the USS John S. McCain, a U.S. Navy destroyer, collided with a merchant ship near Singapore, resulting in the deaths of 10 sailors. The incident was attributed to a combination of factors, including human error, a failure to follow established protocols, and a lack of familiarity with the ship's steering system. First and foremost, submarine collisions can result in the loss of human life. Submarines are complex machines, and a collision can cause significant damage to the vessel, making it difficult or impossible for crew members to escape. In some cases, a collision may also result in the loss of other vessels or civilian life, particularly if the collision occurs in a high traffic area or near populated coastal regions. It can also result in significant damage to the environment. Submarines may carry weapons or other hazardous materials, and a collision can result in the release of these materials into the water, causing environmental damage and putting marine life at risk. Additionally, a collision can damage sensitive underwater ecosystems, including coral reefs and other underwater habitats. From an economic perspective, it can also be costly. Submarines are expensive to build and maintain, and a collision can result in significant repair costs or even the loss of the vessel. In addition, a collision can disrupt shipping lanes and other critical maritime operations, impacting global trade and causing economic damage. One of the primary causes of submarine collisions is human error. The crew of a submarine is responsible for operating and navigating the vessel, and the long hours and high-stress environment can make mistakes more likely. A lack of communication or misinterpretation of orders can lead to collisions. In some cases, crew members may be fatigued, which can impact their ability to operate the vessel effectively. Additionally, a crew member may misread or misunderstand data from the submarine sensors, leading to an incorrect assessment of the vessel's location or the presence of objects in the water. Technology is another factor that can lead to submarine collisions. Submarines are equipped with advanced navigation and detection systems, including sonar and other sensors, that are designed to detect objects in the water and to determine the vessel's location. However, these systems are not infallible, and errors in navigation can occur. For example, a malfunction in the navigation system or a misrepresentation of data can lead to an incorrect assessment of the vessel's location or the presence of objects in the water. In some cases, a malfunction in a weapon or other system on the sub can lead to a collision. Natural and man-made objects in the water are also a factor that can lead to submarine collisions. The ocean is a vast and unpredictable environment, with currents, tides, and weather conditions that can impact a submarine's trajectory. Additionally, there are many natural and man-made objects in the water, such as whales, icebergs, other ships, and they can collide with a submarine. Whales, in particular, can be difficult to detect using sonar, and collisions with these mammals can be deadly. While collisions with natural objects such as whales or icebergs can be challenging to predict and avoid, collisions with other ships are preventable. Submarines are also required to surface and display the appropriate signals to indicate their presence when operating in areas where other vessels are present. What happens to the submarine if it has major damage but is deep underwater? In the event of a collision, the sub crew will immediately assess the situation and take steps to address any safety concerns. This may involve shutting down systems, closing off compartments, 
or taking other measures to ensure the safety of the crew and prevent further damage. The crew will also work to identify the extent of the damage and assess the sub's ability to continue operating. If the damage is severe enough to impact the sub's ability to operate safely or make it impossible to resurface, the crew will activate emergency procedures and call for assistance. The Navy has a variety of resources available to respond to sub-accidents, including specialized rescue vessels and teams, as well as other submarines that can provide assistance and support. These are the emergency procedures. Fire response. Fires can be a major hazard aboard a submarine due to the limited space in the presence of flammable materials. The submarine crew is trained to respond quickly to any sign of fire, including shutting down electrical and mechanical systems in the affected area, isolating the area from the rest of the submarine, and using fire suppression equipment to extinguish the fire. For flooding response, submarines are designed to operate underwater. But if a breach occurs and water enters the vessel, the consequences can be severe. The crew is trained to respond quickly to any sign of flooding, including isolating the affected area, using damage control equipment to stop the flow of water, and pumping out excess water. To abandon the ship. In the event of a serious emergency that requires the crew to abandon the sub, the crew is trained to use a range of procedures to evacuate the vessel safely. These procedures may include the use of escape hatches, inflatable life rafts, and other safety equipment. Medical emergencies. Submarines operate in an environment that can be hazardous to human health, including exposure to high pressure, limited oxygen, and other factors that can cause medical emergencies. The crew is trained to respond quickly to any sign of a medical emergency, including providing first aid, administering oxygen, and contacting medical personnel on shore for further assistance. Nuclear Emergencies Some submarines are equipped with nuclear reactors, which can pose additional risks in the event of an emergency. The crew is trained to respond to any sign of a nuclear emergency, including isolating the reactor and taking steps to prevent the release of radiation. It's important to note that the Navy places a high priority on safety and accident prevention and takes extensive measures to minimize the risk of collisions and other accidents. We talked earlier about the sonar systems that allow them to see underwater and detect potential obstacles in their path. Sonar systems work by emitting sound waves that bounce off objects in the water, creating a detailed image of the submarine's surroundings. These sonar systems are so advanced that they can detect objects in the water from a great distance and can even distinguish between different types of objects based on their size, shape, and density. This allows the crew to identify potential hazards in their path, such as other vessels, underwater obstacles, or even marine life. In addition to sonar systems, submarines also use other advanced technologies to help them navigate safely under the water. For example, submarines are equipped with inertial navigation systems that use a combination of accelerometers and gyroscopes to measure the submarine's motion and calculate its position relative to its starting point. In conclusion, the incredible technology used on modern submarines to avoid collisions is truly exciting. From advanced sonar systems to inertial navigation and periscopes, these technologies help submarines operate safely and effectively in even the most challenging environments. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you've learned something new and fascinating about these incredible machines and the challenges they face when navigating the underwater world. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and informative content. And if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.